Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios artwork for the day. And I used calligraphy pen on canvas in this sketch uh, of a farmhouse in Canada. Check more of my artworks at ilmaarts.com so you can enjoy them. And today I'd like to share with you, oops, I'm sorry, I'm just going to turn this a little. I'd like to share with you the poem devotional which is extracted from Hosea 13 verse 13. It says, Pain has come to the people like the pain of childbirth, but they are like a child who resists being born. The moment of birth has arrived, but they stay in the womb. And here's my poem. Like the pain of childbirth. When people disobey and turn their backs to Christ, their lives become unproductive and they lose sight. Life becomes difficult like the pain of childbirth. They become irrational, emotional, easily offended and hurt. Like a baby about to be born, they choose to stay in the womb. They fear that their comfort zone is, be is better than facing the world. Their resistance to change becomes a hindrance to their progress. They become paralyzed, choose to stay in fear, and continually digress. And here is my essay. There are a lot of people who continually live in fear and wonder why their lives never produce fruits. When someone is fearful, opportunities just pass through. God wants us to walk in love and fear is the opposite of love. When we fear, we lose discernment and insight. We become paralyzed and unproductive. The Bible tells us that pain will come to us like the pain of childbirth if we resist being renewed in Christ. When we are called to do something to glorify God and we resist, our lives become unbearable and full of obstacles and challenges. Prayer Lord, deliver me from fear. Reflection How can we stop resisting the progress God promised us? And I just like to say a few things and some insight about Hosea 13, 13 verse. Um, it is, I've, I've had one childbirth in my life and I know how awfully painful it is when the child is about to come out of the world. And Hosea's uh, verse clearly um, gives us an illustration what that pain is when the children in our womb do not want to come out because they are so comfortable in that water surrounding them and just you know without noise in the world so like it is likened to us to our own lives like um, when we protect ourselves so much and stay in our status quo or where we are at then we do not maximize what God has in store for us because God is a God of of love he is a God of protection he is a God of providence so he wants to provide us with all the blessings and with all the fruits and productivity that we can in our lives but sometimes a lot of our experiences in the past teaches us or taught us to be afraid like um, when we are rejected constantly, we become afraid to face challenges um, in, a, in a courageous way. Um, we tend to be always on guard and um, always calculating, always, you know, making sure that you're okay. I used to be like that. And, and when I allowed the Spirit to, to give me courage and take a leap at things that I never... I never even thought that I could. Just even my painting alone is. A, I was a self-taught painter, and it was a, it was a transitional story in my life when I discovered when God has given me the the the, the gift to be able to or the talent to be able to paint or draw. So, but I had to hone that. I had to 
get out of my comfort zone and not be scared because the Holy Spirit is with me. And the same thing in our lives, sometimes we get stuck in a relationship, we get stuck in a job that we don't like to do, but if we trust the Lord and the Lord is telling us to move on and go and, 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 and grab this opportunity that is being presented to, to us, then we must trust Him. So that will be the end of my Palm Devotional. I hope that you check my website at ilmaarts.com. I will be posting some of my tutorials on, actually, the tutorials how I painted some stuff so that you more or less can learn something from it and be able to, you know, paint your own, paint away and be inspired. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day. God bless.